I think more and more people are going to see Japanese textile heritage and be very impressed by what they find. I came in 1985 and I'd always had an interest in clothes so when I got to Japan um, I started to kind of poke around in kimono shops. <laughs> I enjoyed going in and looking at all the silks and then one day I went in to a large department store and uh, a woman said to me, how about you try it on? A fool that I was, I tried it on and some people going past said, oh, you look so lovely, like that. And I ended up buying it and I didn't realize that the price that was on it was only for the actual silk, the, f the front of it and that all the sewing together and the lining and everything else would, would almost double the price. <laughs> yeah. And that, that was the start of it because then I had this kimono that I couldn't wear and I wanted to be able to wear it. So I went to a large kimono school qualifying after two years as a kimono teacher and dresser. The shape has not changed very much, the, the actual structure, but the garment has changed a lot. Although kimono fashion moves slower than Western fashion, it moves, and therefore the idea of the unchanging kimono is a false one. For a few years now, lace collars and accessories have been very popular. Uh, people have also started to wear lace or pleated skirts under their kimono and wear the kimono itself shorter. It, it's a really good way of utilizing antique kimono that is sh too short. I think anybody can wear it, and, but I think there are appropriate and inappropriate ways of wearing it. I think that this Lady Gaga wore it uh, uh, out coming out of a gym or something. It was a beautiful handmade formal kimono and it was trailing along the street. And that would be disrespectful to the maker, even if it was a Western dress. But if someone is uh, trying to learn it and understand it, even if they aren't wearing it well, uh, everyone has to start somewhere, you know, and, and in the end it's clothing. If you say that people who wear it badly can't wear it, what about my Japanese students who are just starting their journey wearing kimono? It, it belongs to everyone, especially all Japanese people. There's uh, still an image that old ladies wear kimono, I think, but now younger people are choosing kimono for themselves as a fashion statement. I would say that uh, kimono is a really complete and fulfilling fashion system. It um, binds people to other people, makers and wearers and generations. It can be used across the generations. Uh, they say it lasts 100 years, but it doesn't get old fashioned because there are so many things you add to the kimono itself to make the outfit. Um, there are seasonal designs, so it binds people to nature. I think more and more people are going to see Japanese textile heritage and be very impressed by what they find.